Alrighty, we are in Dallas. And as you can tell by the skyline, it is nighttime. Let's see if I can level my camera out. All right, we've done 22.7 MPGs, and not really on the whole trip, but I think you get the idea. And what I could say about the GSF is that it is a spectacular car for what you get. It is more of one of the robust sports sedans on the market and I think it will last you a very long time. Check out that Omni building over there. That's always so cool. This downtown is just awesome. Uh, it's about as awesome as you can get. With the way they've done the lighting and everything, just the city looks great every time you arrive. And uh, it's kind of like this GSF. There's just so much to it, and it's so subtle, yet so elegant, that it all makes sense. There's, there's no reason to doubt the simplicity of it. And I think if you understand that, you will be a very big fan of what this provides. And it sounds like a lot of BS, but I'm telling you, like, there are cars out there that make more noise, have more power, have more gizmos and gadgets, but, you know, that, that kind of wears off. In the end, you just kind of go, what, what's really about, what is this thing really about? And it's almost like there's so many gizmos and things added to it, you kind of forget what the whole thing is about. You start taking those pieces away and you realize there's really nothing to this thing. And that's why they had to load it up with stuff. But in this car, it is so simple, you have nothing in the way. There's no, there's nothing to obscure the fact that this is a VA powered sedan and it's just remarkable on the track. It's remarkable on a road trip and it looks good just like a downtown skyline at night looks good. And that's the whole point. It's just a remarkable combination, a good package. And it's not about the latest, uh, the latest nightclub or which celebrity went where. Does, does none of that matters. It's really just like it's a very personal choice here. And it's a smart personal choice. Not because of reliability or brand or service costs or any of that. It's just because it's the right thing to do. Whether it's now or five or ten years from now, it's still just like a, a legend. I think it's well said by one of my viewers on my reviews that this car is highly underrated. And I think right now you can tell it is. It's highly underrated. It's like any downtown skyline. I think what I'll do though is I'll roll the window down here. And it'll be a little noisy, but uh, never mind. I think that's a... I don't know. Roll my window down and see what kind of noise I can make. It was much easier to make noise when I was in the uh, SRT in stop and go traffic. <laughs> Fun nonetheless. But I like the fact that I don't always sound like an asshat when I'm driving along. You know, this car's pretty sedate when you want it to just be chill in the city. And I think that makes a lot of sense. It doesn't need to be a full on race car all the time. A lot of cars have that capability to kind of like change their tone, but this is the car that's most consistent among all the tones, but then it also delivers like a performance aspect that is a very big shock when you really want to use it. And that's, that's like, that's more usability more daily than anything else. And I know I'm just rambling now, but the skyline just keeps going. By the way, I'm on a freeway going through the city, and the speed limit here is 70 miles an hour, not 65. 70. And if you turn around on this, go the other direction, you'll end up in uh, Houston. Maybe one day we'll do a road trip to Houston. I don't know what I would do in Houston. It's not my kind of place. It's way too humid, way too hot. 
but if you have an idea for me, uh, what do you want to see me do in Houston? I mean, I might go to Galveston, maybe hit the beach, the uh, tar-filled beaches or something. Maybe just go get some seafood, although we have a lot of great oysters here and clams. And I mean, we have everything we need here in Dallas, just like they have everything they need there in Houston. Austin's like the only stepchild, the bastard child. I don't know what it is, but it's just nef definitely not perfect. Let's see. Yeah, 22.7 MPGs. We averaged 70 miles an hour still. And uh, since my restart at in and out it's taken us an hour and 20 minutes. I don't know how far we went. Uh, since then, it's kind of like uh, everything's a blur in this car. It doesn't even feel like 10 to 11, which I can see on the analog clock right there. Close, close enough to maybe 12 to 11. It's kind of the point. Never disappoints. That was a normal mode too. I know you know you get to a certain point where you open it up and it's like holy crap. But wow, this is just a cool car. And it looks cool, and it fits in. People like it. I love, I love the color. I don't know how many of you are gonna get your hands on one of these, but if you did or you do, just leave a comment below. I think that would be really cool, like a, a registry sort of on the actual page, uh, actual video of the few journalists who have driven this car. And again, I want to thank all of you for subscribing because your subscriptions uh, and your views and everything you do. Your